Welcome back, everyone. The inflation rate is the highest it's been in 40 years. And although everyone is feeling the impact on their wallet, senior citizens seem to be hurting a bit more. Western Mass News reporter Paris Dunford getting answers for those on fixed incomes and how they can try to make ends meet. N34, N34. Henry Perry can be seen calling out bingo numbers at the West Springfield Council on Aging. He's currently working three jobs, even though he's had a heart attack and open heart surgery. He's on Social Security benefits and living on a fixed income. However, his rent is going up with just about everything else. Highly unlikely that I'm going to be able to do it for a long, but I'm looking for ways to make money. And he's not alone. His fellow bingo player, Dawn Russell, is also struggling living just on her income from Social Security. With rent going up and her medical bills piling up, it's become overwhelming. It's just a little scary. You know, I'm, I live by myself and uh, I, I've never had all these bills that I couldn't pay. So it's a little, uh, a little frightening. It's something Kristen Budaconti is hearing almost every day. Folks are coming in pretty much daily saying that they need more help with financial supports, um, food, housing, you know, costs for gas. Senior citizens are struggling to make ends meet with inflation at an all-time high at 8.26 percent, the highest inflation rate in 40 years. A lot of the inflation has to do with disrupted supply chains from COVID-19. Uh, some of some of the inflation is due to uh, the war in Ukraine. Budokanti says she's been encouraging residents to reach out to the resources available to them. We're suggesting fuel assistance through Valley Opportunity Council, SNAP um, through DTA. They help with food resources and there's also the HIP benefit that folks can get fresh fruits and veggies. Western Mass News did some digging and found some further resources for seniors. For things like medical care and prescriptions, there are Medicare saving programs and extra RX financial help, also Medicaid and a prescription advantage program. To help pay for your home, there is a state property tax assistance program, low income home energy program and telephone assistance lifeline. There are also SNAP benefits you can apply for to help cut costs at the grocery store. And if you're already on Social Security and still struggling, there is a resource called Supplemental Security Income. However, even with all these resources, Bunaconti says there still isn't enough. And those incomes don't increase with the cost of everything else that's going up right now, so they are really struggling. But things may be looking up in the upcoming year, according to Professor Dunch. Social Security is going to increase by 8.9 percent, so that's quite a significant cost of living adjustment. Plus, she says the Inflation Reduction Act recently passed by Congress will help struggling seniors, especially with their medical bills and home energy prices. Reporting for Western Mass News, I'm Paris Dunford. Now, if you have a question or something you want us to look into for you, email us at gettinganswers at westernmassnews.com. Just be sure you include your name and phone number as we work to dig deeper.